happy feast day for July 26 to the grandparents of Jesus, Saints Joachim and Anne. We welcome our visitors today as well. We have a custom in our parish, at the end of the Mass, we all kneel and silently say three Hail Marys for the next one amongst us to be called home by God. And we ask you to silence your cell phones for the duration of the Mass, please. We do not take up a collection during the Mass. We have boxes on the walls at each entrance that you may use to put your donation into. Thank you. And the readings for this Mass can be found at the back of the hymnal on page 1142. Our Mass intention for this Mass is members of the Nagel and Lochner families. All of today's readings are wonderful and challenging, and I pray we all have ears to hear the Word of God in our hearts today. I invite you to pause now in silence as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the gift of this Mass with Jesus Christ, the real presence, truly here in the Eucharist. And is not it wonderful to have the sound of a baby in our midst? <laughs> Yeah. 
not us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him, through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead, in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him. Having forgotten all of our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with his legal claims, which was opposed to us, he also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord.
Rarely is an instruction or an idea conveyed correctly when it is given just once. If something is important, it must often be repeated in order for it to sink in. If something is important, it must be repeated to sink in. Humans are more likely to retain what we hear if it's repeated. Parents especially and teachers know this. It's how we learn. We repeat prayers and songs and motions. So if I were to say, in the name of the Father and of the Son, many of you would automatically reach for your forehead and your heart. Repetition, it's how we learn. And I'm sure that many of you, even some of you that might be older than me, remember the songs and poems you learned as a child, child or toddler. Repetition. So, last week, Father Jeff spoke about hospitality in his homily. He let us know that hospitality was an important virtue from way before the time that Christ walked and taught with his disciples. As I started to contemplate today's readings, I heard the theme of hospitality again. And it struck me that it was repeating. And from the very first book of our scriptures, of Genesis, there are stories of hospitality. And the theme is repeated all the way through scriptures, through into and through the New Testament. It repeats. So hospitality must be important. Hospitality is important. So I looked back at what we were preaching and reading this last month and discovered that it's been a repeating theme throughout the entire month of July. Let me review for you. The Lord appointed 72 and sent them out with these instructions. If you are received in a home, stay. Eat and drink what is offered. Cure the sick and proclaim the kingdom of God. If you are not received, Shake the dust from your feet, because it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day. If you are received, you receive hospitality. Let me review another one. Who is my neighbor? Both the Good Samaritan and the innkeeper show hospitality and mercy to the wounded trap. Abraham saw three men and ran out to greet them. He had water brought to wash their feet, and he had food and drink to refresh them. He offered hospitality. Our Martha and Mary story from last week, Father preached on this. Martha showed the deeply rooted and valued, valid concern for hospitality. Mary showed a need for prayer. Now, both of these are important, but hospitality is where we're going with today's God, with today's song. In our Genesis story today, we hear a dialogue between God and Abraham. God shares his plan to punish Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham presses God to spare those who might be righteous, and he advocates for those who might be be innocent. Abraham shows interest and persistence. I'm not sure I could question God that many times. I'm not sure I could question God in his presence even once, but that's okay. <laughs> Abraham shows interest and persistence in protecting the innocent. He is concerned with God's mercy. We know that in the following chapter of Genesis, Lot offers food and shelter and protection to, that is, he offers hospitality to the angels who come. The residents of the city obviously reject the idea of hospitality, and the two cities are ultimately destroyed as no just or righteous people can be found there. They fail to offer hospitality. 
Today's Gospel reading from Luke chapter 11 echoes a concern for hospitality. We have, that concern is what we've been hearing right along, is not from the 9th through the 10th chapter and into the 11th chapter of Luke. At the beginning of the reading, Jesus gives examples, and at the end of the reading, rhetorical questions for our reflection. If a friend asked for bread, would you say, don't bother me? Or would you offer the needed food? Who would hand a snake to someone when asked for a fish? These questions invite us to think about how we respond to the needs of others. These ideas build on the Good Samaritan parable concerning love and care and mercy, hospitality. The themes of hospitality and justice and mercy are very timely for us today. Please, do not confuse justice with punishment or retribution. They're not the same. It seems that people and nations show little interest in justice. They promote unwelcoming attitudes and policies. Followers of Christ are called to be advocates, like Abraham, mindful of the innocent and speaking truth to power in the face of lies and division and discrimination. Our readings remind us that hospitality and welcoming the stranger are core principles of discipleship. They are modeled by Jesus and by God the Father. They're also required of true believers. They're required of us.
who was killed in the line of duty Thursday evening for his family, his partner, Sino Sang, who was injured for their fellow officers and for an end to all violence. We pray to the Lord. For those who have sinned against God, that they know that God stands ready to forgive them if they repent and seek his mercy. We pray to the Lord. For all grandparents and the thanksgiving for the love they have shown us, may we respond by offering them the help they need. We pray to the Lord. For our parishes that the Holy Spirit leads us to invite people to join us at Mass as we seek to follow the Lord. We pray to the Lord. For all those on a prayer list, those in a prayer book of requests, and for the sick to know God's love, comfort, and grace. We pray to the Lord. For Molly Richardson, who died this week, and the deceased members of the Nagel and Lochner families, for whom we celebrate this Mass, and for all who have died to receive eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts.
accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, though these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the past ministry. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as a joyful celebration we acclaim. Thank you. 
glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever.
body of Christ. Amen.
us with love beyond all doubt to make profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you.